Snap tools give you greater accuracy when working with transforms. They are most effective with the Move tool, although they can be used with the Rotate and Scale as well. The default hotkey to toggle Move Snap mode is S. With Rotate, Angle Snap lets you rotate objects by 5 degree increments. The default hotkey to toggle Angle Snap is A. With Scale, Percent Snap lets you scale objects up or down by 10% increments. The default hotkey to toggle Percent Snap is shift Control p The default incremental values for rotation and scale of 5 degrees and 10% respectively can be changed by right-clicking the Rotation or Scale Snap buttons. Used in conjunction with the Move tool, Snap possibilities are much wider in scope. The Move Snap tool is actually a flyout. You will learn about its various options in a moment. For now, leave the default 3D snap mode active. When planning to use snap tools, it is usually more efficient to call up the snap's toolbar. This can be done with a right click on an empty area of the main toolbar. Using the snap's toolbar, you can then choose which points in space you would like to snap onto. In grid mode, you can only snap to intersecting lines on the construction grid. The texture map in this example has been set to match the existing construction grid. Perhaps more importantly, you can snap onto geometry points such as objects pivot points, vertex points, midpoints, edges, faces, and so on. Arguably one of the most valuable snap options is vertex, which lets you snap onto any intersecting point between two or more edges. The default 3D snap mode is best used in a 3D view, such as perspective or camera. In this mode, you can relocate an object in all three directions, X, Y, and Z, so that a point on the source object snaps onto a point on the target object. In a 2D orthographic view, such as stop or front, using 3D snap can be tricky. If there are multiple points on the same axis, such as the z-axis as seen in the top view, you can never be sure which point is taken into account. This is why 3D snap is best used in a 3D view. If you need to work in a 2D orthographic view, then you should use one of the 2D snaps available. The 2D snap mode is only useful if you are dealing exclusively with 2D geometry such as shape objects. This mode can only snap to objects lying on the construction grid. If an object is not lying on the construction grid, z equals 0 in the top view, then you cannot snap to it. Notice how you cannot snap to a floating object, but you can snap to an object on the floor. This makes 2D snap difficult to work with when using objects in various 3D locations. On the other hand, the 2.5D snap mode is very useful when you need to relocate an object on one plane without affecting the third dimension. For example, you can move this box in the top view to align it with another box. Notice how you have relocated the object on the XY plane while the elevation remains unchanged, even though the target object in this case is higher. Notice also that unlike 2D snap, a 2.5D snap does recognize snap points that are not on the construction grid. As you can see, 2.5D is a very powerful way to move objects on a single plane. It is not advisable to use 2.5D snap in a 3D view, as it will yield unexpected results. Finally, take a look at the Use Axis Constraints option. This is best used in 3D snap mode with the Transform Gizmo disabled. The Transform Gizmo can be toggled on or off using the X key. Use Axis Constraints lets you snap to points on a single or dual axis translation. To move an object in X, Y, or Z, press the F5, F6, or F7 keys to enable a single direction at a time. Using 3D Snap in Vertex mode, notice how you can align a vertex to another while the object travels in one direction only. If 
It is important to note that this mode also works in two directions simultaneously. This in effect replaces the 2.5D mode you learned about earlier. To set this mode to work in two axes simultaneously, use F8 to move between the XY, YZ and XZ planes. At any time, disable Use Axis Constraints to return to full 3D snap mode. Don't forget to toggle back the Transform Gizmo X key when you're done.